0.8, negative 0.213. Okay, so we have now determined the points of equilibrium. So now let's distinguish which one is a stable, which one is unstable. So we have to take the second derivative of u, right, to determine, to, uh, to make the second derivative test, to apply the second derivative test to this. Uh, I'm going to apply, take the second derivative of this one. We get uh, 48 x squared minus 12 x minus 2. Okay. And now put in x equals 0 there. U double prime of 0 is 0, 0, negative 2. So according to the second derivative test, if the second derivative at a critical point is negative, then it's concave down, right? So it's a, um, that would be a local, local max, so unstable. If the second derivative, uh, now we put in 0.588. And then if you put 0.588 there, what do you get? It's probably going to be positive. We don't really even have to know exactly what it's equal, as long as we can see is it equal to uh, positive or negative. Yeah. It's negative. I get a, I get positive. Yeah, I get positive. So which means it is a local min, stable. And then u double prime of negative point two one three is equal to probably going to be positive because it's going to, uh, the pattern shows that. Positive, right? So I'm going to draw a rough graph of what the potential energy function looks like. Just rough. This one yields local max. So something like, let's see here, u of 0 is equal to negative 4, right? So it looks something like this. Local max at 0.588. It's a local min. And it goes up to infinity. Then it goes uh, down at the point 0.213. It goes back down to local min. <coughs> now these points right here where, it's, where the potential energy is zero is not even that important. You would think it, it's, in, it's important, right? But it's not really. Uh, a lot of times on the Earth it is. Like potential energy is zero is the ground, right? So that to us is always important. But over here, the potential energy is zero. is not really that important. What really matters more is the minimum points and the maximum points. This has no significance. As a matter of fact, when I said the potential energy is zero on the ground, that's not even true. Because the potential energy, energy is zero at the center of the Earth, really. If the ground opens, what would happen to us? Yeah, we're no longer at the minimum potential energy. So we would fall into the center of the Earth. So the only reason we say the potential energy is zero on the ground is we're just using that as a reference point because the ground is supporting us, you see? So, 
So now we have a good idea of what this looks like. You have this potential energy function has two stable equilibriums, one uh, uh, unstable Okay, so now we could answer part C of the question. What would ha happen to the object if it is if, it, if object is placed at x equals 0, what would happen? Because I just made up some arbitrary points there. If uh, object is placed at x equals uh, 0, it would just stay there. Nothing would happen. But it's sort of uh, very unstable. As soon as it's disturbed a little bit, it, it uh, moves away from that. So stable equilibrium object stays there until disturbed. How about x equals plus 3? Okay, wherever that point is, maybe the, uh, somewhere here, plus 3. Well, basically, imagine that it's on a hill, so it's going to go down, go this way, and go all the way to that point. You know? So if the object is placed at x equals 3, it would have enough potential energy to come down the hill, go back, and go all the way to wherever the potential energy is, uh, wherever the potential energy uh, is uh, the same over here. So, uh, object would oscillate between. X equals 3, and wherever else uh, the potential energy is the same. What would that equal? What, what would that X equal here? How would you, how would you find that other point? some math we're doing here okay well find out what's the potential energy at x equals 3 and then find out where else that potential energy is the same right so what is the potential energy at x equals to 3 u of 3 would be 4 times uh, 4 times what uh, 81 minus 2 times 9 plus uh, minus 9 minus 4, wherever that number is equal to, right? What? Yeah, 2 times 27. So whatever that number is equal to, now set it equal to the potential energy function. And so for when else is the potential energy the same? Right? So let's put this again in solver here. Today we're going to use solver quite a bit. 